Hello and kumusta everyone? This is the LEGO Jurassic World Dilophosaurus on the loose 75934 Dinosaur Toy Review. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who have subscribed and also for the lovely comments that you placed on my previous videos. Now on with the playset review! This LEGO Jurassic World Dinosaur playset includes 3 minifigures, Owen Brady, Hudson Harper, and Park Worker plus a new Dilophosaurus toy figure. Kids can reimagine exciting scenes from the LEGO Jurassic World animated series with this collectible toy. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the box. It says here it's uh, for 6 and older. Um, there are 168 pieces all in all. And um, it says the Dilophosaurus on the loose uh, set. It has Dilophosaurus, Owen Grady, Park Worker, and Hudson Harper. Right, so there's also a drone helicopter and this a market stall in the shape of a dinosaur. Let's talk about the box. The visitor center can be seen at the background and the box is really painted well and like any Lego box set, uh, they have the logos here with the Lego and the Jurassic World sign. On the other side of the box would be uh, Owen Grady and the three new uh, figures. Flipping it over would be, yeah, uh, a Spanish <laughs> translation and then the barcode as well. All right. The back side shows um, ways on how you play with it. Um, the Dilophosaurus has this net on it, uh, which is being ejected by the drone. Uh, I guess that's it. It's time for us to open the box, I guess. Alright, so let's start with the work instructions or the instruction manual. As with any LEGO uh, manual, it usually starts with the um, minifigures. So we have the uh, Dilophosaurus and the three minifigures um, illustrated uh, on the instruction. And the rest would be those for the marketplace and also the drone. On the last page would be the dinosaurs. So we have Carnotaurus, Velociraptor, Indoraptor, Baryonyx, Dilophosaurus, and uh, so on. Here is the sticker for the build. And here is the Dilophosaurus. And then we have one, two, three, and four um, packs all in all. So let's start building. Assemble. Let's start assembling the drone first.
closer look at the dinosaur. This figure sports a green ochre color, yellow highlights, and a red frill. Now here is the Lophosaurus alongside my other uh, figures. Uh, here is a, a raptor-like figure which is the same size and a Silophysis. Here it is beside Owen Grady and my Comsognathus custom. A little trivia, did you know that in Jurassic Park, the clone Dilophosaurus had very abnormal traits that the original never had? These traits include a frill, venom glands, and a skull that resembled dromaeosaurids like Nanicus. Dilophosaurus Wetherili, the genus means two-crested lizard, and the species name honors John Wetherili, a Navajo counselor. Review wouldn't be complete if we don't compare it with the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World. The Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park is slightly smaller than their original counterpart being 6 meters instead of 7 meters when fully grown. And they lack the fourth finger. And now comparing with the previous release Dilophosaurus, I think the new Dilophosaurus has a more accurate um, size compared to the previous one. And that's about it for the video. I hope you like it. But before we end, I have a little surprise for you. Coming soon on Extinct Breaks. This would include the Mosasaurus that I've been working on. And a reversion of my Stegosaurus. And two little Homawa satellites for you guys. I hope you like it. As always, share, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification button. Thanks and salamat!